Hello, welcome to Mathematics Lesson. The topic today is on plane geometry. So we are going to take some questions in plane geometry to explain how to solve problems on it. So moving ahead, we have a question which says four angles of a pentagon are equal and the fifth is 60 degrees. Find the equal angles and show that two sides of the pentagon are parallel. So to deal with this question, we start like this. First, we establish a value to show the sides, the angles that are equal. So let's say let 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 uh, each of the four equal angles be the x therefore four x plus sixty degrees is equal to um is equal to n minus two one eighty degrees so that four x plus sixty is equal to note for a pentagon n is equal to um, five number of sides so we have five minus two one multiplied by 180 so that 4x plus 60 degrees is equal to 3 times 180 degrees that means that 4x plus 60 degrees is equal to 540 degrees therefore 4x is equal to 540 degrees minus 60 degrees which gives us um, 480 degrees so that s is equal to 480 degrees divided by 4 which will give us 120 degrees so x which is each of the four equal angles uh, is 120 degrees so that is what we have established moving to the next page we have that x uh, we have that x is equal to 120 degrees and uh, one of the angles is 60 degrees so it's a pentagon so we now move ahead to sketch the pentagon using drawing tool to sketch the pentagon so we have that so sketching it we do this
so that is the diagram much I can do for sketch so that will be A B C D and E so that here is 120 degrees also is 120 degrees 120 degrees 120 degrees and 60 degrees so having done that we can start up with uh, our calculation the much we can so uh, let's take this to be G take this place to be G and we have to be F so we can now go ahead and say um, angle okay uh, we are given we are given a pentagon of for equal sides and uh, a sixty degrees required required we are required to uh, required to prove to prove that two sides of the pentagon are parallel ok then prove that uh, angle G A E plus angle E A B is equal to one eighty degrees reason sum of angles in a straight line. Therefore, angle GAE plus 120 is equal to 180 degrees. That means angle GAE is equal to 180 degrees minus 120, which will give us 60 degrees. Yeah, moving ahead, have angle F E D plus angle A E D is also equal to 180 degrees. Some reason, sum of angles. A straight line angle F E D 
assim loss losses to degrees is equal to 180 degrees angle F E D is equal to 180 degrees minus 60 which gives us 120 degrees again Argo G A E is equal to Argo A E D which is equal to sixty degrees also Argo E A B is equal to angle F E D which is equal to 120 degrees. Our reason for this is parallel lines parallel lines and the transversal so of alternate angle of alternate angle and corresponding angle alternate angles and corresponding angles respectively that is this is alternate angle A. A G A E is equal to A angle A E D because they are alternate angles. Going by what we have here, this angle here is 60 degrees, is alternate to this G A E and uh, angle A E D. They are alternate angles. Again, angle uh, E A B and angle F F E D. Here also is 120 degrees. They are corresponding angles. So that is why we say so. So moving forward. We cannot say, therefore, therefore, ED line ED and AB are two sides. Of, of the pentagon pentagon a b c d e and have been approved parallel therefore proved <laughs>